Comparing and ordering fractions by equivalency. Fraction strips and number lines are great, but in this video, I'm going to show you a faster method you can add to your fraction skill kit. You've made equivalent fractions and completed equivalent fraction pairs and you got all nice and confident with that. Now it's a moment of payoff for you. When you have to compare fractions with different denominators, you can make new equivalent fractions and compare sizes that way. Check it out. We have to compare 3 quarters, 13 sixteenths and 5 eighths and put them in ascending order. The first thing we always do when we compare fractions is check the denominators. Do you know your tables? If you do, you'll spot that 4 and 8 are both factors of 16. And that means each equivalent fraction will have the denominator of 16 because it's the lowest number that works with 4, 8 and 16. This is called making the lowest common denominator. The denominator will be common to all the fractions here. So let's make an equivalent fraction of 3 quarters with a new denominator of 16. Remember what to do? How do we turn 4 into 16 using multiplication? We multiply by 4 and whatever we do to the bottom, we've got to do to the top. So 3 times 4 is 12. That's one new equivalent fraction. Notice that I put it directly under the original. That shows us it's the equivalent of 3 quarters. And now for 5 eighths. To get a denominator of 16, we multiply 8 by 2. So the numerator is 5 times 2, that's 10. And for completeness on the line, I'll just rewrite 13 sixteenths here. Look at that, a lovely set of equivalent fractions with a common denominator. How easy is that to compare them now? We have to rewrite the original fractions in order from smallest to largest. We use our equivalent fractions to tell us what the order is. Smallest was 10 sixteenths, that's 5 eighths, so we write that first. Then we have 12 sixteenths and that's 3 quarters and then it's 13 sixteenths. We've ordered them from smallest to largest as the question says so we use the less than sign. 5 eighths is less than 3 quarters which is less than 13 sixteenths and that's our answer. It wasn't difficult and you can see how easy this is to set up on a page. One last example and this one's a bit more tricky. 2 thirds, 3 quarters and 5 sixths. We have to order them from greatest to least. Step 1, check the denominators. 3, 4 and 6. They won't work together because 4 is not a factor of 6. We're going to have to create new equivalent fractions for all of them. If I multiply 3 by 4, I get 12 and 6 is a factor of 12. 12 is therefore the lowest common denominator I can make. Watch this. 3 times 4 is 12, so for the numerator, 2 times 4 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12, so 3 times 3 is 9. And 6 times 2 is 12, so 5 times 2 is 10. And remember to state the order using the original fractions, not the equivalents, okay? The greatest fraction is 10 twelfths, which is 5 sixths. Then 9 twelfths, which is 3 quarters. Then 8 twelfths, which is 2 thirds. And in our last step, we use the greater than sign with the original fractions. 5 sixths is greater than 3 quarters, which is greater than two-thirds. This is a bit quicker than doing a number line, isn't it? And it's a lot quicker than doing fraction strips. I really like this method of comparing fractions. Obviously, you want to try out this comparing and ordering approach. Have fun kicking it in math with your big math muscles. As always, if this video helped you, please click the like to help me too. And after this, 
there's one last way to compare and order fractions that I want to show you. But please only watch that after you've mastered the number line comparison and the equivalent fractions comparison, okay? See you next time.